All right, all right. So I see some good questions coming in. I'm going to hit some generally. One's um, from Tim Tapscott. What's going on, Tim? So this is a general general question about just our theory and preparing people for the exam. And the question is, in general, are prepping your problems generally harder, easier, or the same as the actual exam? So this is a great question. Number one, I can't be for certain to state either of those, but my theory as an educator and how I have prepared myself in the past as well as how I kind of prepare in my sports or any any other area of life is I always try to prepare above what I could expect to see in either competition or on the exam. So I would say generally speaking, the prep and problems will be harder. They're going to be harder. However, they're not going to be harder in the sense that they're going to just leave you hanging. I'm not presenting or or developing a program where we present really hard problems and then just leave our students hanging. That does happen out there. I know because that's really what stemmed and seeded the prep and program is that I was frustrated. I would get a problem statement and then essentially one or two lines in a in an answer. And I would have to figure out how I would get from point A to point Z for the final solution. And uh, I found that that was number one really frustrating, but it really didn't help me in creating any momentum, real momentum, but also in helping me understand the process in properly solving those types of problems. So I was hung to dry. Now, the theory or the the way we do things here at Prepineers, we definitely prepare our students at a level above of what they could expect to see on the exam. And we have seen tremendous success in going that route since we started back in 2009. And so that's the way we do things. However, we don't leave you hanging. Just like you saw in our cram sessions tonight, you're going to see very detailed solutions that are really organized and going to walk you from A to Z to the final solution so that you can follow along the process and really take in and really visualize how you would get to a proper solution. So they are harder, but they train you along the way. And when you're trained properly and you have those proper connections, your recall is going to be much faster, A, but because we project or we believe that the problems on the FE exam will be more simple, you're going to be able to do those in a fraction of the time. And that's the whole point. We need to make sure that you're performing on the exam at a high rate. And if you're seeing problems where you're super pumped to see that the, they're very simple, you're pumping them out. Whereas if we were to prepare you on the level we expected to see the problems on the exam, if you saw anything that was just semi harder, it would throw you off mentally. Now this is a mental game too. I'm telling you, most of this exam is a mental game. How are you going to perform under pressure? And the last thing you need in anything, in performance, in sports, in education, the last thing you need is to start doubting your understanding. When you start doubting yourself and the knowledge that you have, your performance is dramatically going to go down. So we're going to take those doubts back into the preparation process. We're going to show you harder problems. You're gonna be like, I don't know how to do this. Well, you're doubting yourself. And that's okay when you're preparing because we're gonna walk you through on how to actually solve something so you're not doubting yourself the next time. Now, fast forward to the day of the exam and you see something more simple, you're not gonna be doubting yourself. It's not even part of the process. You're performing faster. That's our theory. That's shown tremendous success for our students. We're talking students that, who have failed the exam six plus times that have found prep and year, went on to be successful, and that's how we're gonna do things. I hope that helps answer your question, Tim.